Morning, Senator. Everybody. Thank Morning, you. Senator. Thank you. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce Senator Sanders to the grassroots in Rhode Island. To the grassroots in Rhode Island, we know him as Bernie. Yeah. When I first when I first attended the volunteer first meeting in uh, South County in uh, in Rhode Island, we expected a few people, but we got close to a hundred. Senator, uh, we knew then that there was something different going on, right? There was more than just an election, um, and as Bernie says, this is a movement that's going to be carried forward. And Bernie, I can tell you now, we love you, right? What you've done, right? What you've Great done. Great Our country and the process is better off, all right, for what Bernie did in this primary. And we're going to follow him wherever you want to go. Thank you. Big touch. Please, everybody, sit down. Uh, let me thank all of you for the support. Winning Rhode Island was a great victory for us. We appreciate uh, all of your efforts. Uh, let me just be brief and say the following. Uh, all of us know that in the next three months, it is absolutely imperative that Donald Trump be defeated. Uh, Trump is, uh, in my view, and I don't just say this off the top of my head, he is the worst candidate for president uh, in the modern history of this country. And the reason that Trump, and it's important to understand this, it's not just that he wants to give tax breaks to billionaires, it's not just that he wants to cut programs for working people. It's not just that he believes that climate change is a hoax. Other Republicans believe those things as well. But what makes Trump different is that Trump is, in fact, a demagogue. Trump does not believe in the Constitution of the United States of America. And Trump is running a campaign that's cornerstone. The heart and soul of his campaign is bigotry. It's bigotry. It is not on economic issues, it's not on social issues, not on environmental issues. It is trying to divide this country to get one group of people to hate another group of people. Whether it is Latinos and Mexicans, whether it is Muslims, whether it is insulting women, whether it is insulting African Americans, please do not forget that before Trump became a candidate for president, he was the leader of the so-called Bertha Movement. You all know what that is? Yeah. Bertha Movement was not a movement designed to disagree with Barack Obama. It was designed to undermine the legitimacy of the first African-American president because he was African-American. All right? My father, came to this country at the age of 17 from Poland. I've been in a presidential campaign for a year. Nobody has asked me for my birth certificate whether I was born in Poland or in the United States of America. But I never left Obama for racist reasons. That is the guy that we are running against. So it goes without saying that Trump has got to be defeated. But on top of that, what we also understand that defeating Trump and electing Hillary Clinton is not enough. We understand that while we are better off today economically than we were when Obama first came in, remember, Republicans don't want us to remember, eight years ago, we were losing 800,000 jobs a month as a result of Wall Street's greed and recklessness and the collapse of Wall Street. Do you all remember that? Yeah. 800,000 jobs a month. The world's financial system was on the verge of collapse. And we were running up a $1.4 trillion deficit, largest in our history. That's what Obama inherited. Are we better off today? Yeah, we are. But millions of people today are hurting. Millions of working class people are working longer hours for lower wages. You have a trade policies that have been a disaster that have shut down plants in America, taken those plants to China and other countries that need to be changed. We are the only major country on earth that does not guarantee health care to all people as a right. 
only major country that does not guarantee paid family and medical leave so that there are women having babies today in America have to go back to work next week because they don't have the money to stay home with their baby. Only major country on earth. We have more income and wealth inequality. Anyone here think it is moral or appropriate that the top one-tenth of one percent, one-tenth of one percent, owns as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent? 85 percent of all new income generated today is going to the top one percent. That's why people are angry, and they have a right to be angry. So our job is not just winning this election and electing Hillary Clinton. It is transforming America, and it is making sure that what we put into the Democratic platform is, in fact, implemented. All right? Yeah. One, of the reasons, one of the reasons that a lot of people are cynical about politics, when they don't believe politicians, because a lot of people in politics think what it's about is to win elections. Yeah, you got to win elections, of course. But winning elections doesn't matter unless you do something when you are elected. That's right. Yeah. 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 Too many people get elected, they say it's all over. And that's not what the American people want. Just begin. So that just begins. That's exactly right. Winning an election is the opportunity to make change. But you got to make that change. And you got to have the guts. And this is not easy stuff to understand that when the rich get richer, that's what they want. They want it all. You got a billionaire class, you got Citizens United. These guys want to own not only the economy, they want to own the politics of America. Everybody in this room, you got one vote, that's great. Well, the Koch brothers, they got one vote too, but they're going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to elect candidates who represent the wealthy and the powerful. That is not American democracy, that is oligarchy. We gotta change that. We gotta overturn the citizens' right. Yeah. All right. So we got a lot of work. We got a lot of work in front of us. Our campaign is now transitioning from a campaign trying to elect the president to a campaign that is now trying to really develop a grassroots movement to bring more people into the political process, to get young people to start running for office, school boards, city council, county commission, state legislature. All right, we need just a whole lot of young energy into the political process. So Rhode Island, let's continue the revolution. Thank you all very much.